everyone, Mythical Monkey here, and today we are doing the top five maps of August 2016. Now, this month is a little bit different because this month we are going to be taking community vote picks or votes that have been decided on by you guys. There was a total of 23 of you that voted, so we are taking those votes, and those are going to be the results of this top five this week. If you guys, I, that seems to be the simplest way, so if you guys want to be making the decisions for the top 5 of next month, for the top 5 maps of September 2016, go to the Tolemeyer forums towards the end of the month, and you'll see in Tolemeyer General a, cop, a topic called Top 5 Maps of September 2016, where I will have a post that has a poll where you can pick what options, you can pick 5 options. So, if you want to actually be able to be eligible to get in, you have to create a Your World topic on the Ptolemyer forums and have pictures. They don't necessarily have to be HD pictures, just pictures. Also, you'll notice that there's video recordings on all five of these clips. So, let's get into it. Coming in at the number 5 on our list is Pringles Castle Map. Now you may have noticed that this thing is sort of in like a work in progress type of stage, but it is extremely detailed. Like look, at, if you're watching this right now, look at your screen and look at the detail in this castle. It is insane. You've got the walls with every little detail in every little ramp, stair, corner block blah blah blah. You also got a little bit of interior here and there, but as I've said in the past, it's a work in progress, so there's not really much but a lot of detail that you can see. So that is Pringle at the number five spot. And coming in at number 4 on our map is Xanian Me. I'm probably failing the name again, because I, I always do every time I, I see him pop up here. Is Xanian Me's Dead Island map. Now, I personally don't play Dead Island, but from the looks of it, Dead Island is a dead island. There's zombies all over the place, there's creatures all over the place, or just zombies. The undead all over the place, and it's dry and bad to live in. There seems to be some really good houses that you would want to stay in during that, but they seem to have holes in them, so I don't know about staying in them, but they, they seem to have looked good before the zombie apocalypse, right guys? There's also a scene where there's like a car in the fence and there's fire around it. Now, I just want to disclaim that this clip, these clips are not from me recording or the ones, the other top fives are this Pacific one is not because Xenia and me is not going to be hosting for a while. He's adding stuff and he doesn't want people to come in and record. So he told me to use his video footage and mess it around a little bit and use that for the top five. So that's what we're doing right now. So thanks Xenia and me for letting me use your footage if, since you don't want us to come on your world to do, to do our own. So thanks for that. Also, your map looks dead islandy. <laughs> the map at the number three spot is a pretty well known challenge map by Liam Bradbury called Credit Land. Credit Land is probably one of or one of or if not even the most well-known challenge map on Total Miner to this day. It's, I think, around 500 rates already, but Credit Land is, like I said, one of the most known challenge maps to date today because it was stuck through all the death mines and it kept going for challenge map, challenge map, challenge map. And it is insane how this map has evolved from that little old map that was hosted back then to nowadays and 
it's crazy. You can do parkour, which is pretty obvious in a challenge map. You can get credits and save up for particle trails. And you can even watch TV at this random room location that he has. He also got some weird zombie apocalypse type thing. This is like Dead Island all over again. Are we reviewing Dead Island or Credit Land? I thought this was Credit Land. Guys, just kidding. I, I know that this is Credit Land, but there's a bunch of crazy stuff that you can see in Credit Land because it's been hosted for so long and so much has been added. So I suggest going to check out all these maps and if you see Liam Bradbury hosting, go check that out because a lot of resemblance from Avra come from Credit Land. I didn't even notice that until I joined, so... <laughs>